level low. G'day, my name's Liam Hendricks. I'm a relief pitcher for the Chicago White Sox, and welcome to Yankee Stadium. My workout philosophy is do what I do for a living. So that's just, I do a lot of throwing. I don't really work out, I don't get in the gym, I don't do too much conditioning. I, I, I lie, so I walk into the gym every now and then here and deadlift whatever's on the bar. So I walk in and flip flops and do one, do some shoulder shrugs, some uh, calf raises, and then walk out. The most I've got was a deadlift of 350. I'm gonna do what I think is good for me. And as a kid, I used to throw a lot. So I threw, and um, as I did that, I went, increased my velocity from low to mid 90s to upper 90s, and have done that ever since. The last four years, and I've had a pretty, pretty decent success. One piece of advice I always give to young guys coming up through the league, or kids in general, is play another sport. You're not gonna build up enough different muscle groups if you'll end up getting hurt a lot. You can still focus on baseball, play as many sports as you can, and don't be afraid to be a little weird. As a kid, we used to work out, so I was part of the West Australian Institute of Sport, part of the three Olympic squad, and we used to do a lot of workouts. We all thought that you had to do a strength test, so it required 60 push-ups in the space of two minutes or something like that. It was your max bench press, max bench pull, max leg press. Turned out that was just a West Australian thing, so we all showed up way fitter than everybody else. <laughs> I mean, I was 15 at the time, 15, 16. I know my max squats I ever got to was just over 500. Yeah, so I got diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma in December of 2022. Started my treatment early December of 23. I would have treatment Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday, I'd be catatonic on the couch. Friday, I was back at the field working out and getting in the training room, letting them work on my elbow a little bit and then going in and throwing and never really stopped. I got told that staying active was really good for me and did some Peloton workouts, whether it be on the treadmill, the rowing machine or the bike, walking the dogs or getting on an electric scooter and just cruising around the canal in Arizona. I'd usually throw on a podcast, so about an hour on the treadmill. Bike, I'd usually do anywhere from 20 to 30 minute class. Usually the pop punk experiences, they were always my go-to, they bring back the old nostalgia. And then the rowing machine, I did a 15 minute beginners one and that one ruined me a little bit, so I, I haven't gone on that one recently. <laughs> Free game rituals, every day I get, I get to the field, I bring, if it's a road game, I usually bring three or four coffees with me. One on the way to the field, one at the field, and one for the game. Then I get in the training room, I get them to do some stuff on my elbow here. And then I come out here and I throw with that bullpen catches Louis Sierra or Miguel Gonzalez. I go as far as I can, pretty much. So I don't really work out, but this is how I warm up every single day. So I start off by playing catch with a 2.2 pound plyo ball. For me, it's a kilo with their metric system. And then I go to an 11 ounce baseball, which is a little bit heavier than a normal baseball. Do a bunch of throws with those. Wake up the arm a little bit. And then I start going to a regular baseball and pretty much throw as far as I can every day. Go from usually the foul line to center field wall. Come back in and then work on my craft. Throw two of each pitch as hard as I can. And then I get the catcher to squat down into catching position and throw another two as hard as I can. I do that and then I go in and throw some, some tiger print pants on and my t-shirt and then we're, uh, we're good to go. Thanks for joining me on my warm-ups. That was me throwing. Hopefully I didn't go too far for you guys. But just remember, if anyone's going through any sort of things, don't be afraid to shoot them a text. It means the world to us.